Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, am I distracting you? <laughs> I'm sorry, am I making you uncomfortable? Don't worry, you don't actually have to answer that. You see, I can feel the weight of, of your gaze as you, as you shift your eyes away from me to something, anything else, because you think you're giving me space. Fuck you. <laughs> you think I don't see you trying not to see me? <laughs> the sudden sharp turn of your neck might as well rattle like jewelry. You think you're better than the people who are asking what the fuck is wrong with me. But the anxiety of knowing that you clearly don't fuck with me fucks with me. And it makes everything rush through me like I'm trying to plug up a geyser with tissue paper. Have you ever tried to hold back a sneeze? Like, really tried. Like, oh shit, everyone's gonna look at me tried. Like, oh, I know it'll feel better and I know the itch will stop, but just gotta hold it in tried. Imagine doing that every day of your life or at least for every sneeze, because I can promise there's not a single tick I think that I need or that I feel comfortable to release. I don't want to make you feel awkward. I don't want to be that itchy sweater that you regret wearing in public. I don't want to be that two for one that you never asked for. Buy one Tory, get one Tourette's free. No substitutions. Mm. Nothing would ease me more than to be able to save my voice for, to paint the atmosphere with words that matter or feelings that I could wrap around you like ribbons. But it seems like I have too much of a voice. It seems like I've got too much of an energy buzzing inside of me that sometimes it bursts out without asking me. But if you could uh, listen past the <laughs> and the <laughs> maybe you can hear my music. And if you could look past the neck jerks and the arm twists, maybe you could see how much I love to dance. And maybe my anxiety could stop weighing me down like lead bullets in my chest, and I could have less bad days, and I can finally tell you all of these stories I have inside of me pressing against my skin like tattoos without worrying if my Tourette's will interrupt me like commas I never wanted. You would love my run-on sentences would love the way they spike and dip, drip, dripping with my excitement. It's a discomfort you might actually like. Or you can keep turning away. You can keep pressing your lips together like I'm something you're afraid to taste. You can keep drowning me in your invisible ink. Because hey, at least you're not making fun of me. You must be one of the good guys. I'll mail you a trophy. Say it out loud. Tourette syndrome. Does it sound like dirty mud slung against a freshly clean window pane? Reevaluate. Does it taste like an overripe lemon in your mouth? Reevaluate. Does it feel like sandpaper scraping against your eyes and ears? For the love of God, reevaluate. Syndrome is not a bad word. Disability, handicap, disorder, these are not bad words. Look at me. Even when I'm taking especially when I'm ticking, because it is in those moments that my energy is most bursting out of me like disjointed fireworks. Tell me what you can see them spell out. But first, <laughs> just look at me. 